Video Talk. Hello and welcome to Video Talk. My name is Willy and I want to talk to you about The Thing from another world. The Thing from Another World was directed by Christian Nuby, but most of the people say that it was actually directed by its producer Howard Hawks. Howard Hawks was a legendary Hollywood director. He was a billionaire and he put his own money to make excellent pictures and The Thing may be one of his most memorable films. Hey, I said, wait for me, Pat. I want to get a picture. The Thing is also remembered as a classic 15th science fiction monster film, one of the first ones that gave birth to that genre in the 50s. Well, The Thing is certainly a product of its time. Most of you probably know what this film is about, but let me explain for you that do not know. It's about a group of scientists and military personnel that are in this uh, Antarctica research station and they found this uh, strange aircraft buried under the ice. They try to dig it out, but they accidentally blow it up. Fortunately, they find the passenger of this ship and is frozen in the ice and it's a humanoid from outer space and they dig it dig him up and take with them to the research center and this one dumbass is stupid enough to put uh, some kind of heating blanket over this ice block while he's watching over it and it melts up and the monster wakes up and starts to terrorize the research base so the premise is pretty original for its time. It was pretty or original also for its time that these actors, they talk over each other. It makes the speaking sound very realistic. This was not utilized at all in science fiction films, at least as far as I know in the 50s. And also it, it's got that uh, like very... Uh, positive attitude, you know, there is no real bad guys in there and the good guys win and as long as you're a good American, you can prevail against the space creatures, yes. What was that? Sounds like a window. 1.8. Couple spikes. 1.9. The needles hit the top. <laughs> The thing is based on a short story by John W. Campbell Jr. It was written in the 1938 uh, and it was titled Who Goes There? And it was remade famously by John Carpenter, J.C. In, in 1982 starring Kurt Russell. And that remake, uh, it's not in my opinion a remake. It's it's merely a, a reinterpretation of same story. This is fiercely respected film, but I think John Carpenter's version over has overshadowed this. They are completely, totally, completely different versions about the same same story, not even same characters in there. And I believe uh, I haven't read this uh, original John W. Campbell story, but uh, I believe John Carpenter's version is much more truthful to this uh, short story because this version, it completely uh, forgets about this shape-shifting aspect of this alien. Now here he is just a, a this like a huge carrot man that looks like a Frankenstein monster. I have never absolutely liked it, but, but it is understandable. I don't think they could have bull pulled this shape-shifting effects in in 50s and i don't think they even would have to have the budget to do that so they instead they opted for this like frankenstein frankenstein like creature growling around the corridors it's getting near the top guys open the door and the thing is right behind it you don't expect him to be there it's it's like so so in your face that you are wow oh oh, oh okay they did that no but go ahead and Get 
was the first Burning Man on screen. never get the sense of danger about these people. Uh, I never get the sense that these people are in danger. They, they are like acting so casually around the base and they are like talking like oh 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 it's a spaceman are we gonna capture it. And also these military guys they fuck up in the beginning when they explode this spacecraft and also this one dude like I said he fucks up he puts a fucking heating blanket over this ice block because he don't want to watch this creature in the ice block. What a moron. What the juice is off? Pat! Pat! Carrington, turn off the generator! Well, bring the flashlight. Eddie, hold him up as long as you can. Roger. Watch out, he's got a gun! Keep away. Keep away. There's a female and there's this like weird force romance in this film. I don't know if this romance thing is in the original story, but definitely that romance story is not in the John Carpenter's version, or not even in the uh, 2011 prequel to John Carpenter's film, which I will talk to you later. <laughs> The Thing from Another World in my books is a three star film. It is a classic science fiction, but it's, it's not one of my favorites. It's, it's just too cheesy and too campy, and most of these films from the 50s are. But there are some good examples that if you, it is from 50s, it's not campy. Like, uh, for instance, like Invasion of Body Snatchers. Not campy at all. Well, maybe a little. Tell the world. Tell this to everybody, wherever they are. Watch the skies. Everywhere. I recommend watching it. Especially if you like 50s science fiction, horror, monster films. So, and you haven't seen this, you definitely need to see this. For the rest of you, I recommend John C's The Thing from 1982. Which I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. See ya. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel by subscribing and hitting that bell button to get notified when there's a new video. If you have any requests about the films you want me to do, please tell me about it in the comment section. For more info, visit videospace.fi, a community for video collectors and movie enthusiasts. Thank you for watching.